So the next topic that we're going to discuss is pain sensitization. We know that there are lots of different nerves in the body that take signals and send them up to the brain to tell us what's going on. So I've put some examples of these here. We've got touch nerves, temperature nerves, movement nerves, and of course pain nerves. And what happens is, when those nerves are stimulated, they send a message up to an area in the spinal cord where it's then transmitted up to an area of the brain. So as an example, if I touch something like this board, even though I don't need to see that I'm touching it, the message gets sent up to the spinal cord where the message goes up to that area of the brain that tells me that I'm touching something. Again, if that thing that I'm touching is particularly hot or cold, for instance, if I was to touch a hob and I was to maybe burn myself, as soon as I touch it, the message gets fired up the nerve in the arm, up the spinal cord, to the area of the brain that tells me that thing is particularly hot. Exactly the same thing would happen if I was to be touching something that was moving. So if this board is vibrating, I can feel that vibration without looking at it because it will send the message straight up to that area of the brain. And of course, if something that I'm touching is, is sore, so for instance, if there was broken glass on this board and I was to bring my hand along it, even without looking to see that I've cut my hand, the pain nerves would send a message to the area in the spinal cord, generate a message up to the brain, and the area that notices the pain will be triggered. Now normally, there is a certain threshold at which these nerves send their messages. So I need a certain amount of touch or movement or temperature before the body notices what's going on. Unfortunately, what happens is, when pain's been there for a long term, and lots of these pain messages are getting sent up to the brain, the threshold at which the nerves fire reduces. So therefore they fire a lot easier than they used to. So it might be that I used to have to bang my elbow very, very hard before it'd be sore, but now it might be just a very gentle bump before I start noticing it. And in fact, the threshold can drop so low that I don't need any sort of stimulus. I can just be sat there, not doing anything, and my elbow can be very, very sore. Now when that happens, and we're getting pain messages sent all the time, the area of the brain that notices pain develops. And effectively, it becomes bigger. One extra complication that can happen is, where all these nerves meet in the spinal cord, we call it a synapse. And as it happens, sometimes the nerves get a bit confused and they start sending messages up the wrong part of the spinal cord. So now not only are we getting too many pain messages, but also other things can start to cause pain. So often people say when they touch the area that's sore, it can make it worse. Very commonly people say if there's a temperature change, if it's very cold, my pain is worse. Sometimes just moving, which shouldn't normally be sore, could increase the pain. And this is what we call pain sensitization.